you know I'm a big believer in identifying powerful long-term themes, then sticking with them for years as long as they keep paying off. Right now, one of the hottest themes out there is the humanization of pets. The idea that more and more Americans treat their cats and dogs like children. Spending fortunes to make sure these companion animals get adequate health care. That's why Zoetis, the global animal health company focused on livestock and pets, has been such an amazing, consistent performer, up 29% over the past year, including a 13% gain versus where it was trading just a month ago. Zoetis was spun off by Pfizer in 2013, and while it took about a year for the company to find its footing, as they told you it would, ever since then, the thing's been on fire. And the stock just keeps roaring. Last week, Zoetis reported a fabulous quarter. Five-cent earnings beat off a 48-cent basis, higher than expected expected revenue up 6% year-over-year and an extremely bullish, terrific conference call. In particular, management talked about how they've recently launched a bunch of successful new products that could pave the way for extremely profitable growth for a long time to come. But even up here, with the stock only a few nickels away from its all-time high, I think you could have more room to run. Let's dig deeper with Juan Ramona Likes. He's the CEO of Zoetis. Learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Likes, welcome back to Man Money. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. How are you? Very well. And you? Have a seat. I wanted to talk uh, about companion animals, but you know, there's some. There's a deal we made that's in the news. Um, a cattle with the Chinese. It was really kind of a breakthrough deal, and I have to believe that some of your uh, work that you've done with vaccines to make our cattle the safest in the world might might have played a role. This will be definitely uh, positive uh, news for uh, our uh, customers, farmers in the U.S. Now they will have access uh, to the Chinese market. The Chinese, uh, it's a significant uh, potential. Right. There's a lot of people there. Only small uh, growth in the consumption of uh, beef will be very important for uh, the cattle business in the U.S. In the meantime, you've actually moved. Uh, you've done a lot of international work with vaccines in China since I've seen you last. It sounds like that market's become a great growth market. Well, uh, China is growing very fast. Yeah. Uh, we have now uh, a lot of uh, vaccines uh, offered in companion animal, livestock. Mm -hmm. We continue investing in, uh, in China, and we are very confident that... Uh, China will be an important market uh, for us. Right? This is already an important right. market for us. You predicted when you were here last that some of your medicines for dogs would take off. I was shocked to see the market share your atopic dermatitis drug has already gotten. In a very short period, Apple is 47% share. How'd that happen? I think it's, uh, it's a product that is responding very well uh, to, right. to the needs of uh, uh, pet owners is also an important uh, tool for uh, veterinarians. So we are showing that uh, Zoetis is uh, not only leading uh, in, uh, in revenues, but also leading innovation. Right. Apoquel is a great product. We also added a complementary uh, now product uh, called uh, Cytopoint, right. 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 which is a monoclonal antibody. Again, it's uh, two options for uh, treating allergies, uh, itchings in dogs. I think we are very pleased with uh, all the progress we are making and uh, showing the level of innovation now, it's that these very, companies bring. Well, it's very clear that this is a superior drug to the steroids that we give our dogs, right? I it's, mean, that's just, without a doubt, it's superior. It's uh, better in terms of uh, efficacy. It's faster because right. in very few uh, hours uh, you have a release of uh, all these itching conditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, very important, you don't see the side effects that you see with uh, steroids, which is uh, very important for uh, pet owners mm -hmm. and veterinarians. Absolutely. Now, this acquisition NextFit, this intrigued me because, you know, we care tremendously about our dogs. And we don't know whether our dogs are in pain. We can look to see how, whether they are. How do we, this is a very big chronic pain possibility for you guys. How do we know that our dogs have it? Well, uh, dogs, uh, when they are quiet, when they are not moving, it's a good uh, sign that uh, there is a pain on, uh, okay. on the animals. So this is the first symptom. So there are other uh, indicators that uh, the dogs are uh, on pain. And uh, the best thing is take uh, the dogs uh, to the veterinarian. And the veterinarian also, they have the tools to identify uh, what will be the, the best course of uh, treatment for but these this, uh, dogs. This could be a gigantic drug. We care so much of our dogs. I mean, we can't, we can't talk to them, but if we know they're in pain, we do anything to relieve the pain. Yes, and, uh, and we see also the advantage of uh, monoclonal antibodies using pain because also we expect that the side effects will be uh, fewer right. than uh, NSAID or other uh, medications that are already in the, in the market. The other opportunity will be not only uh, dogs, but also cats. Cats, I know. Yeah, because cats, uh, today there is nothing uh, uh, available for a cat, which is uh, working well. The monoclonal antibodies will be an injectable uh, formulation, right. and this will be very uh, well for uh, treating a cat with his uh, pain uh, conditions. Okay, now, I, I very rarely talk about capital allocation with you, but I notice you're a very high taxpayer. Um, if there were ever a change in the income tax, it would be terrific for shareholders. What would you do? Can you boost dividend? I, I know you've bought back stock. There, you've been so pro-shareholder. 
And uh, there are, uh, we, we define that uh, the capital allocation for us first is invest in the business. Right. So we have seen a significant return in investing in uh, research, investing in uh, commercial, in manufacturing. This is the focus that we have uh, today. Second, M&A. We still have opportunities uh, to bring uh, new uh, uh, companies in the core business, but also in the complementary diagnostics uh, or uh, genetics uh, or bio devices. Right. This is an area that uh, we have. We bought uh, Pharmac, uh, okay. the Fisher company. We bought also uh, Scandinavian micro bio devices right. in diagnostics. Nextvect, it's another example that uh, you mentioned. And uh, then uh, anything which is uh, left, uh, so uh, excess cash will right. be returned, dividends or uh, buying a share back. So in that sense, I mean, you have to be satisfied if President Trump can get this through. It's really pretty good for Zoetis. This will be very positive. Uh, oh. Definitely uh, we see that as an opportunity to significantly increase uh, our uh, profitability. Uh, we are improving that profitability yeah, significantly so. because uh, 400 basis points uh, in 2016, good improvement. Now we have 32% uh, uh, EBIT margin, which is uh, right. very remarkable. We st still uh, uh, plan to continue growing this uh, EBIT margin. But the help of the tax reform will also have a positive impact in our operation. Well, you've done a fantastic job. You've done exactly what you said you would and more. And I congratulate you on everything you've done for shareholders. That's Juan Ramon Alix. He's the CEO of Zoetis. Smack in the middle of our theory about the humanization of pets. And they're just doing fabulously. Stick with Kramer. Thank you. Thank you. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.